Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New Orleans Saints. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday Night Football. And on the call, as always, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, it is always a celebration here in New Orleans, and we are just outside of the French Quarter at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jaguars, it's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Leonard Fournette. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. And this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Operating from the gun. Banks forced out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that plays over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Looking to throw. Banks steps away to his left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Here's a second and seven. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. He let one slip away last week as well, so now two fumbles lost in as many weeks. On first and ten, Banks eluding the pressure right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. On second down, here's Fournette. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. Fights off another. I think the second tackler would have learned from the first. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. 
Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Banks dancing to his left. Looking left side, that's complete to Oliver. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. They run for the first time with Benny Snell. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards there at a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Looking to throw. Banks flushed out right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter as they've got it second and seven. Back to throw. Banks escaping the pressure right. And it's incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing. Down, right? Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling in. Start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Off the play fake. Banks. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Refusing to go down. A big third down play there for the Jags. 43 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This will be caught just inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And once more, this play going in the wrong direction. The Saints get to him behind the line again. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. 
The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline. Off play action. Thanks. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. To throw again. Thanks. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. A final shot before break. Thanks. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the... First down, Banks, flush to his right. That is caught by the former Gator, Antonio Callaway. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Looking to throw, Banks, eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. In fact, like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half. No quit in him. Zero. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Second and three. Well, Noon has got it. Complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15. Right at the 15-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Fournette. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Big Sheldon Rankins there to bring him down. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, Banks. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, his third touchdown now on the year. As his guys are back within a single score. And that score there makes this a much more manageable deficit. Agreed, because before that touchdown, this looked like this was about over. Instead, they've got hope. They're back in the game. They feel better about themselves. And now they have a chance to make some more plays. Back to throw. Banks under pressure. Down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Throwing on first down. Banks being chased out left. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. 
Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Ha -ha, Clinton Dix making the safety blitz look easy. Zooms in for the sack. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Here we go on second and 12. Buying time to his left. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. From the gun on third down. Banks flush to his right. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had. Thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. This is caught. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush Jish. And this is caught for a touchdown. Now, hold everything here. Flag in the backfield. This one might be coming back. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Dallas Goddard, his fourth touchdown on the year. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. That one goes for 30 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Special foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play. That absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. And this is caught at the eight. It's a good gain of 11. Go. Sets go. him up first and goal. Go. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. First and goal, a touchdown, and a two point conversion here are musts. They'll look to throw. Flushed out. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. It's their quarterback. His third touchdown of the game, number 11 on the year. As they now sit just a two-point conversion away from tying this game up in the fourth quarter. So here we go now as the Jaguars will go for two. They'll try and run it in. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up, but they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for the other team to come downfield and put some points on the board. But John... They begin with a run by Fournette. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Devon Godshow up to make the tackle. Brings up second and nine at the 16-yard line. 
Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touch, will have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team... On first and ten, Banks forced out to his left. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Ah, oh, they're throwing it on first down, but no one was open, so he gets flushed out of the pocket, runs towards the sidelines, gets out of bounds with a good gain and a first down. Now four down. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. I don't want to overhype it, but this is a big early season game, especially an overtime win. That can give you a big boost going forward in the season. It certainly can, and I don't think you're overhyping it because cliches go out the window when you start to play overtime. And you're right, the winner of this game now, that's an extra boost moving forward. And it actually is an extra hurt for the team that loses because normally you shake it off. But in this situation, it lingers a little bit longer. This is Fournette. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Fournette running out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The result of first down is a quick slant gets him 14. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Two minutes left in this overtime session and still all tied. On the run, it's Fournette. Got a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. They'll run it again with four down. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. Steps away to his left, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Second and one. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Wow, Charles. That doesn't just take points off the board. That takes a win off the board. So now you have to regroup because you've gone from celebrating what you think is a win to trying to figure out how to do it again and make it a win. Mike 5 
Looking to throw on second down. Thanks. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for the Jags, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Brother, better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Yeah, yeah, uh. Reporting live from the winner side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, down the tide? You will never know. You ain't never try. Work it out. Hit the gym, hit the field. Hit the wind. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard. On the job, you can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the uh -huh. rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Yeah. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the street. Yeah. Chase on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase the rings. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two.